Hello YouTube, this is me Indra and today I am here to show you how to create sign in page in JSP using NetBean and MySQL server. For this you need DAM server, then after NetBean and browser installed in your computer. So let us start our project. First of all, open the DAM server and start the Apache and MySQL module. Then after open the web browser and create a database and a table to store the data so type in localhost then go to PHP my admin then after click on new to create the new database so name of our database JSP database and click on create so JSP database has been created now let us create a table let the table name be record record then after we need nine columns then after click on go so provide the column name first of all id integer then let's make it this one primary key in index and let it be auto increment then after name bar care that can you can type with len 50 then after address that care with len 50 then after phone number that care with set not that care for phone number big integer this big integer for phone number we should not have to specify the length that will be provided automatically and username where care with length 50 password where care with length 50 then after age where care with length 10 gender bear care with length in the last one email bear care at the length 100 so we have provided the column name so click on save okay our, our table record has been created with nine columns so let me insert single data in it so id will be automatically provided name indra address the mark phone number 9842791295 then after name username password then after age Mail ninety five eight mail dot com. Then click on go. So one row inserted. That means one record has been inserted into our database. So we finish it. We finish the database work. Let me minimize this and open it. Bin now. So let me create a new project for our sign in page or login page. Click on new project. In categories choose. Java web and in project choose web application and click on next name the project for me JSP sign in okay JSP tutorial click on next click on finish So project JSP tutorial has been created. So expand this, expand web pages. So index estimate is provided in default. So I'll delete this and I'll create a new JSP page with name index.jsp. So for this, right click on web pages and click on 
JSP provide the name index click on finish then after I'll send the 10th title login uh, I done is need the heading in the body section now we have to code over here in this JSP page so I will be using bootstrap for the text box and buttons which will be responsive for this you have to download the bootstrap from the official website and I have already downloaded it and I will copy and paste it in my project downloads compressed ok this is my downloaded bootstrap folder so I will paste it in my project so right click on web pages and paste it over here so bootstrap folder arrives here so there are many files in bootstrap to expand bootstrap there will be css and js we need css in css we need bootstrap.css so we have to use this in the headers, header part we have to put the code in the we have to provide the link in the header part so let me drag and drop this code in the head section so if you do not have drag and drop feature in your ide you can write this code manually also let me make the content quite larger i hope you can see this much text the size now okay now we have to write the code over here so let me change the body background so i am using inline css for this style style equals to so first of all i will change the background color the hex value that is e6 e6 f a then after i'll be aligning the text in center that is text align text align center text align center this much for body now we have to use form to take the user data so i'll be using form so form has some attributes it has name name equals to my form then after method method met sorry method equals to i will using post method then action where we have to redirect the form data okay i leave this action as it is right now now i will provide fill set fill set work is like a title fill set then i will provide id to this fill set and using fill set we have to use design also design for design also i will provide id so i can use custom css in it design css ok in design css i will write some text please sign in ok please sign in i have written this much ok we have to place all the code inside the fill set so i will be writing the code over here so we need two text field for username and password so i will be using div let me specify the class also i will be using form inline class form inline that is provided in default by bootstrap then after let me close this and i will provide label for username then after i will close label and we have to specify the input type input type equals to text then after name equals to username user n a m a name class equals to form control and then after placeholder placeholder equals to enter enter username ok 
okay this much may be sufficient right now okay this is the input type for the username and also we have to use for password also so let me copy this let me provide a break line also break row okay let me copy this much code and paste it here for password also password name <coughs> password from control place order enter password okay so i'll be using custom css for the fill set and design so in order to provide custom css let me create a css file in the bootstrap css folder so click on right click on css folder and click on new and go to others okay it is cascading style sheet is available here you have to use cascading style sheet click on cascading style sheet and write the name custom then click on finish then you can write the code over here for custom css for id we use as and for fill set we have to specify the css over here so i will be using border border width to pixel solid then after block then color color i will be using black color then after background color also i will be using hex color value to a a b d2 then after display i will be using inline block inline block so for Listen also. I have to write the code margin, margin top twenty pixel. Then after padding fifteen pixel, margin left, margin left. I will be using thirty pixel. Then after the margin right, I will be using again thirty pixel. Okay, this much for custom CSS. So let me go to the index.jsp. So I have written the code. So let me run this once. How it looks like. Okay, I have to specify default browser here. I will be using Firefox. So click and run again. Okay, our CSS custom CSS set not worked here, and I want to use bottom also. So let me use button in custom CSS. I want to provide the link for custom CSS over here. So click on project and drag and drop this custom CSS in the head section. Now for button also I have to code over here. So let me write the code for button. I will be using three buttons. So button, button. I will be using three button. One for sign in, one for sign up, and one for reset. So button type equals to for sign in we have to use submit. Then after name. Equals to action. Then after value equals to this is sign in. So I have to use value as sign in class. Class equals to btn button. Okay, let me close this and let me name name this sign in button. Similarly, I will copy this. And I'll paste it over here, and I'll rename this 
टू टैप सबमिट एक्शन वैल्यू इक्वल्स टू साइन अप देन साइन अप एंड अनदर बटन फॉर रिसेट टाइप इक्वल्स टू रिसेट एंड क्लास इक्वल्स टू बटन एंड प्रोवाइड इज नेम रिसेट क्लोज द बटन सो लेट मी रन दिस वन सेकेंड ओके इट्स फाइन सो इन द नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू कनेक्ट इट विद द डेटा बेस टू चेक विद द टाइप information is from the valid user or not so thanks for watching please hit like button and subscribe my channel thank you